Hi, my name is Danny Smith. This is my 79 Chevy drag van. It's got a 360 small block Chevy motor in it. 350 turbo transmission with a 3000 stall converter. It's got a 12 bolt posi rear with 410 gears. My favorite thing to do is drag race with it. I love the race. I've been racing since 2000. Uh, I've won multiple awards racing, uh, multiple trophies. I've won some cash. Uh, I have two uh, editor's choice top 10 uh, drag car awards from Super Chevy Magazine. And it's also been in Super Chevy Magazine twice. Where I run it at uh, Palm Beach International Raceway. Uh, my best time so far is a 14.13 at 92 miles an hour. It's got a 185, 60 foot time. This, is, uh, my, this was my idea, it's a cold air induction system. It's a, um, actually, it's a 1983 Ford Mustang air cleaner uh, with the dual snorkels. Uh, it didn't actually fit when I first got it, so I had to um, cut the snorkels off and re-weld them back on so they were parallel with the valve covers to make it fit. I used a 3-inch dryer duct that I got from Home Depot. It runs down to um, actually to downspout dumps, and it works real well. It feeds a 650 Holley, some mechanical um, secondaries, double, dual feed, double pumper. Okay, um, I put uh, Bill Specialty wheels on the front, and in order to do that, I had to change the uh, bolt pattern from a, a truck bolt pattern to a car bolt pattern. I did that by using 1988 Z28 rotors. Uh, the original calipers, the stock calipers fit those rotors. Inside I had Rick's rods fabricate my roll bar. I did all the painting, I, I did the welds myself, uh, bonded the welds to make it look like it belongs. I have the racing seat with the Hurst uh, pistol grip two shifter with the rear exit cable. Works real well. Got tired of hitting third gear from, from first when I was racing on the track. Uh, the motor is a 360 small block. Uh, it's a fairly mild motor. It runs really good for what it is. Uh, it's got a mild cam in it. It's uh, been bored 60 over. It got 10 to 1 flat top pistons. Um, like I said, it runs real good. It's been in there since 1998. It's never been out since I put it in. Um, it's got an MSD ignition on it. Um, the transmission is a turbo 350 with the ATI 3000 stall converter. And this van, actually I bought this van back in the early 90s and um, I bought it for uh, to paint the houses out of it. My wife and I have a painting business and uh, we actually painted out of it for about 10 years before the original 305 that was in it started losing oil pressure. And uh, that's when I decided to um, upgrade to a 350. And uh, that's when I found this engine here, which is a 360. I uh, got it cheap and uh, it's been really good to me. I can't complain. Okay, you can see I have antique Florida place on it. It's a 1979. Um, I also have the nitrous bottle mounted here on the back fender. Um, I have my battery box mounted here in the back. Uh, the do the uh, blanket is, is really something special to me because my daughter had that made for me for Christmas a couple years ago. And I, I just love it. It's the best blanket I've ever had. Nicest one anyway. This picture here is actually the picture out of uh, 2011 when I was in Super Chevy magazine. And when my daughter had it made, she took the picture from the magazine for the blanket. The back wheels um, someone gave to me when I lived in, up in Maryland. And uh, they were all rusted out. I sandblasted them. I painted them. Um, I, I put the screws in for safety's sake. And I have the Mickey Thompson drag radials on them. And they work real well. Sticky Mickeys. Okay, this sticker shows that I was a participant in the, um, the 50th anniversary of NHRA in 2001. I was racing at 7580 Dragway in Monrovia, Maryland. Uh, this sticker shows that I was at um, uh, Mar Mar uh, Maple Grove Raceway in Pennsylvania for the Super Chevy show. And then these are my Chevy shows from when I've been in, now I've been in Florida and my winning stickers. Okay, my, my plans for the future with my van is uh, to make it go faster. When you're a drag racer, you can never go too fast. And uh, I like to have it repainted. It re needs to be redone. And uh, maybe put a bumper on the front. I like to find a fiberglass bumper. And other than that, it's good the way I like it, the way it is.